Okay, hey everybody, we're gonna talk about parallelograms today. So we're gonna do um, these set of notes and we're gonna do proving parallelograms in a coordinate plane. All right, so what is a parallelogram? It is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. <clears throat> um, with parallelograms, um, we think of a couple. We have rectangles, we have squares, we have um, rhombuses. Those would be parallelograms. Um, with parallelograms, they also have a couple other properties. The first one being opposite sides are congruent. Second one are opposite angles are congruent. The third one being consecutive angles are supplementary. And the last one being the diagonals bisect each other. Okay, so we're gonna complete the couple of problems um, about parallel parallelograms, and here we go. So AD is the same thing as BC, it is eight. DC is the same thing as AB, which is 15. Angle A, so angle A and angle D are supplementary. So 180 minus 68 is 112. Um, angle B is the same thing as angle D, 68. And angle C is the same thing as angle A, which is 112. Over here, JK is the same thing, ML. KL is 29, J is 127, it's the same thing as L. And if we do 127 minus 180, we get 53, which is the same thing as M. Number three, you have RT is the same thing as RU, which is 18. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, it's 27, I was looking at the wrong thing. 27, this is 18. Now we need to find VS. Um, VS, if we are told that RT diagonals, um, lost my train of thought here. Oh, I'm sorry, here it is. UV and um, VS diagonals are bisected, so it is seven, and VT is half of 30, which is 15. <coughs> Angles. We have um, DEC, so it's the other part of this angle here. We're told FED, so the whole angle is 134. 134 minus 71 is 63. CDE, we're talking about all of angle D, so we do 180 minus 134, which is, six, is, which is 46. Then we have ECD, so if you recall back that in a parallelogram, we have parallel lines, right? Right here, we have alternate interior angles. So ECD is the same thing as FEC, which is 71. And lastly, DFE. So we know that D and F are the same. And you know, if this is all of 46, 46 minus 21 gets you 25. WZ, well, let's fill this in. This is 15, 22. So let's do the sides first and then we'll erase it and then we'll do the other stuff. ZW is 15, ZY is 22, TX is 32 divided by two, which is 16, and WY is 20 because we did 10 times two. Now let's do the angles. So we have WZY, WXT, 
N Z W T. Okay. So we have T Z Y. Um, so we know those two angles are the same. So these two angles are the same. So what it is 27 x y z so we do 180 minus 62 which is 118 x w t so you have to do 180 minus 62 which is 118 and you know this is 77 so 118 minus 77 is 41 and the last one we have x y t so we're talking about this other half which is the same thing as this one so it's 77. so here we have angles so g h f 34 f j h j f sorry is 124 and f k j is 79. so we have g FJ, so we do 180 minus 120, um, 4 is 56. Then we have FGH, which is 124, it's the same thing as J down there. HFJ is 34, alternate interior angles. HKJ, um, so what we need to do here is see that these two angles here make a straight line so 180 minus 79 is 101 then we have j g h so let's see should have been writing these down as we go Okay. J, G, H. So we're trying to find this angle here. Um, so if you think about it, this over here is 56. So if we do 56 minus 34, that's going to get us the other part of the angle there, which is 22. And then we have this, oops, sorry. Then you have this triangle in here. So we're gonna do 180 minus 101 minus 22 to get us the angle down here is 57. Um, and then you know that the whole angle is 124. So 124 minus 57 gets us 67, which is that angle we're looking for. So that's 67. So that actually helps us with FGJ, which is 57 because they're alternate interiors. Um, F H J we found which is 22 already and G J F is 67 we already found that so that kind of that was a little bit longer to figure out that first angle but we everything else we already know okay now we're going to be just doing a little bit of algebra I'm not going to solve all of these I'm just going to set it up because I know that we know how to solve algebra and everything like that so opposite um, sides are equal so a 9x minus 25 is equal to 5x plus 7 if you solve that you're going to get x is equal to 8 same thing over here you're going to do 11x plus 1 is equal to 19x minus 31 you get x is equal to 4 when you plug it in you're going to get yz is equal to 45 <clears throat> okay so you have tz and you know wz i mean wx so 2 times 4x plus 1 because that's the smaller part which is equal to 74 you get x is equal to 9 and s and sq though that's a diagonal they're equal they're both parts of it you set them equal to each other you get x is equal to 10 plug it into um, an S so you get this to be 27 so 2 times 27 is 54 
opposite angles are equal. Ooh, sorry, I don't want to just go way too fast. So you get 6x minus 15 is equal to 4x plus 11. You get um, x is equal to 13. Angle B, first thing we're going to find is angle A, um, which is 63. Then you do 180 minus 63 to get 117. These angles are equal to 180, so x plus 3x plus 5 plus 8x minus 12 is equal to 180. You get x is equal to 17. Um, you may know P and R are the same, so 3 times 17 plus 5 is 56 degrees. Um, these two angles, they're not the same, but we know that this over here is, can be 25. So 180 um, minus 34 is 46. So we know 25 plus 4x plus 9 is equal to 46. You get x is equal to 3. And the last problem for here, these two angles, um, they add together. And equal 115. So we get x is equal to 12. We're trying to figure out what a, d, b is. So you're plugging it into 6x minus 11, which is 61. Okay, um, I'm not going to have enough time. Um, it only allows me to do 15 minutes, so I'm going to upload this, and then I'll have the next one up for you. All right.